Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a first impressions on a ton of new products. I have skincare and makeup, and yeah, I'm just gonna try it out on camera. I haven't done one of these videos before, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And excuse me if I sound sick, I am sick, and I sound very nasally to me, so hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. But I'm gonna start off, and I'm gonna take this New Face Prep and Glow Cleanse, Exfoliate, and Hydrate Wipe. I got this as a sample at Sephora. But this basically, it says it's enriched with hyaluronic acid, antioxidants, and minerals for beautiful, refreshed, and radiant looking skin. So I'm just going to start off with one of these, and I'm going to use this all over my face. I feel like I'm looking super pale. Okay, so this has a smooth side, and then a side with little beads to exfoliate. So I'm just going to use this side. Oh, it smells really good. I definitely need a self-tan because I am looking really pasty. I'm gonna use the exfoliating side. I also feel like I don't exfoliate my face too much, which isn't good. I know you're supposed to exfoliate a few times a week, and I do not, and I think that's why I have like the tiny pimples on my forehead. So I started with that. I'm also gonna use this little sample that I got in the mail. This is the Clarins Eclat Minute Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. So I've never heard of this and I've never tried it, but it was one of the like Sephora, I don't know if it was a point perk or what. I think it was just like a little sample. Hmm. I also feel like I can't smell too much. Hmm. This feels nice. It kind of feels like a lip gloss and it's kind of sticky. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer for my face. This is the Sunday Riley CEO C plus E Antioxidant Protect and Repair Moisturizer. So this has a lot of claims. It says it is for sensitivity, dehydration, dullness, uneven tone, and premature lines and wrinkles. So it's supposed to do a lot of things for your skin. It smells really nice. Now, I will say I have used this once. And I noticed the next day I had a lot of texture in my skin and I'm really hoping it's not from this because I really like the way this feels and it smells like oranges. It has a very like clementine citrusy scent to it. And the formula of this is on the thicker side too. It's not like one of those thin moisturizers. It feels pretty thick and kind of sticky. Okay, I'm going in with a new primer today. This is the Dr. Brandt's Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So this gives a natural looking backlight glow, revives dull complexions, and helps refine the look of pores. So I really wanted to try this because I've never heard of a primer that minimizes pores and gives you a glow. I just feel like that's hard to find in a primer. So I wanted to give this one a try. So do a little bit of this. And I absolutely love the Pores No More Primer because it like instantly fills in your pores. So let's see this one. It's definitely a different texture as the pores no more. It's a bit more like lotion-y. I don't really want to put any on my forehead because I don't want my forehead to be super glowy. Okay, so, I mean my skin feels nice. I guess it filled in my pores. It's kind of hard to tell though. So now I'm gonna go in with a new foundation, and this was sent to me from Oxaly, so I will link it down below for you, but this is the Pure Bare It All 12 Hour 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Foundation, and this is in blush medium. Now I think this is gonna be a little too light for me, but we're gonna try and make it work. I might mix it, because my neck and my body is a lot tanner than my face. And then they also sent me this brush as well, and I've never used one of these brushes that everyone kind of talks about. I've never used one of these, so I have a hair on my lip. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I believe, let's see, this is supposed to be a demi-matte foundation, helps to cover imperfections and instantly perfect the skin while helping to correct problem areas over time so you can confidently bear it all. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little on my finger. And I'm gonna dot it. Huh. This feels, feels like it's on the thicker side. I'm gonna try blending it with this. I usually like using a sponge for blending in foundation. I think it's a little bit too light. And it also has 
This is blush medium. It has pink undertones, so I feel like I'm more yellow undertone. And this is pretty pink. You know what it is? I don't think I like this brush. I'm going to go in with a sponge because I don't think I love the brush. I'm just so used to blending things in with a damp sponge, and I've been using the Real Techniques one, and I really like it. So the coverage of this is pretty nice, but I'm just going to mix it a little bit with the Hourglass one that I love, just because I feel like this is more yellow, and I'm more yellow undertoned, so I'm just going to mix it in a little bit with it. Okay, I don't have a new concealer to use, so I'm just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape, and I have mine in Light Neutral. This is really good coverage, and a little goes a long way, so I don't use too, too much. I always like going around the nose because people tend to be a bit more red around the nose area. So again, I'm just going to blend this with my Real Technique sponge. And I also find that you have to work fast with this product or it kind of like sinks into your skin. Okay, next I am going to use this NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer. I have used this a couple times, but I don't have like a brand new bronzer to use. So I'm going to use this one. I think this is like the third time that I'm using it. It's pretty nice because it's so natural looking. So I'm just going to put a little right here. I'm going to do one side at a time. And again, I'm going to blend that with the Real Technique sponge. Just gives you like a really nice like bronzy look. Like very sun kissed. Okay, for blush today, I'm gonna use this new Milani blush, and this is a number one romantic rose. And it's such pretty packaging. I've never tried these, but I've always seen them, and I'm like, I need this because it's so pretty. So I'm gonna try this today. I like almost don't want to touch it because it's so pretty. don't want to add too much okay I like that all right now let's go in with a highlighter I'm gonna go in with the new Anastasia glow kit with Nicole Guerrero so this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it and it has all of these pretty shades I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go in with glow getter and I'm gonna mix forever young and glow getter together let's see I've only swatched this I haven't used it Ooh. That's pretty. And this palette is pretty pigmented too, which I have one of the Anastasia Glow Kits and it's not as pigmented as this. A little on the nose, a little on the cupid's bow, little down the center. So, I have this new little palette that I got in gratis from Sephora. This is the Tardis Pro to Go, and I haven't used it yet. I really wanted to get the bigger one, but it is kind of expensive, so I was happy to receive this smaller one. And it comes with a few different shades. Very pretty. I'm going to go in with the tan one, like orangey tan one, and then the lighter tan, and put this in my crease. I don't want to do anything too crazy today with the eyes because all I'm doing is cleaning and working out. Okay, I'm going to take this darker shade which is called Stylin and I'm going to put that in the outer half of the eye just a little bit. Like I said, I don't want this eye look to be too crazy, although I might add some glitter because why not? But I'm just going to add a little bit of this in the outer and then blend it just to add a little dimension. Okay, I'm going to add some glitter and I'm going to take the Kitten Stila, what is this? This is the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow 
liquid glitter in Kit and Karma. I've used this before and I love it. I love all of the shades. I have three of them and I'm obsessed. But if I would recommend one, it would be this one, which is Kit and Karma. It's just so pretty and I have to stay looking down for a minute just so it doesn't transfer. Okay, so I just applied my lashes and then I put mascara on the top and bottom just to blend them. And now I'm going to take off this lip oil off my lips because it's kind of sticky. I know, I want to apply an actual lip color. So, I'm going to go in with my Bite Beauty lip pencil in number 36. This is new to Sephora. I've used it a few times though, but I really, really like it. It's like a really great like natural lip color. If you have trouble lining your lips, you always want to start in the middle, make it easier. Okay, now for a lipstick today, I'm going to use a new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipstick. And I'm going to use this in Rum Punch, but I did also get another one last night. And I'm going to use that one on top. But this one is Rum Punch. These are so creamy. But really, really pigmented too. These are probably my, honestly, my new favorite lipsticks because they're so creamy and pretty. Okay, I'm going to grab the other lipstick and put that one on top. Okay, this one is Beach Babe. And I always gravitate towards this one when I'm at work it's a really pretty nude but it's such a lighter nude than I'm used to but for some reason I just really love it so I'm gonna put it right on top I just think that's like a really pretty nude so that is the look and now I'm going to finish it off with this glam glow glow setter makeup setting spray and really pretty bottle on this. It smells like creamsicles. And let's just set the face. Now I did notice with this, this leaves you looking glowy and like dewy for a really long time. So if you want that glowy look, this will do it. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more first impressions like this. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.